Oh yeah, check this out. See that? That's a shell imprint. So this is the old limestone bed here. Uh, we're up in Courtney in BC right now. And if you look there, that's an actual positive. So the other one is a negative. That's a positive fossil. So you'd have to chisel away at that to get it out. That's probably an ammonite. Um, but yeah, they're here in this bedrock. And you can see the scaling of the, uh, the sedimentary layers there. So you can break away at the sidewall, chisel away at it, and expose it, and check each layer for fossils. Oh yeah, we got a buddy with us, helping us mine today. There he is. This is, what's his name, Rick? Our little rock counting buddy there. Oh, little friend? Yeah, little froggy, all right. Dig this out, this is a concretion nodule. Yeah. So that's the calcified ball. That'll be easier to chisel out, and then we're gonna split it in half. Should I dig under it or still outside? Same thing, chisel it away from it. Sometimes it's good to get under these sheets and chisel sure. that way sure. and break, break it up. I'll get out of your way here, so. But this rock should move easier, yeah. There we go. Way easier. Yeah. So you just want to loosen the rock around it till that nodule comes out on its own. Yeah. And like I said, worst thing you can do is send a shock wave into the nodule. So send it everywhere but into it. And this is usually better with a three pound sledge or a four pound sledge if you're a bigger guy. Because you can get a lot more weight behind each impact. Get, uh, get underneath, Rick, oh, yeah. and peel up the layers. Because sure. it's a sedimentary rock so it's gonna wanna peel in those, in those layers. Think of it too, how your shockwave exit, right? Because yeah. when you send the shockwave straight in, the whole earth absorbs it. Yeah. But when you go that way, the shockwave is expanding and it's uh, the it's kind of like going upwards and peeling those layers off. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. So you see how it's got a natural kind of uh, girdle around it? So you want the crack to run the way my fingernail is. So you're gonna wanna put it on end like this and pop it, or probably on its side like that and pop it, just right there. Like and no, flip the hammer. Yeah. Just, just Sometimes it. they go wrong, so don't worry if it does. Yeah. But yeah, just hit it hard enough to split it right in half. Hold the stone as it splits. Oh, okay. It'll take a... Surprisingly hard. Yeah. It's harder than a lot of the limestone. Wow. So, if you have tools, what you would do, like a chipping tool, a pneumatic uh, pin, you could go in there and break it apart. Usually we try and crack them in half before we do that. Yeah. So you can rotate it and see if you can get the shockwave to go through a different way too. Harder. You want me to hold it and use the chisel on it? Sure. Just don't let the chisel. What if it slips? Yeah, don't let it slip. Mm. Hold the chisel hard against the rock. Yeah. It's gonna slip if you hold it like a pansy against the rock. Seems slippy. Just hold it steady on there. Yeah. You got it? One big hit. Oh, again. I don't trust you, that's why I'm moving my fingers. <laughs> Probably for the best, honestly. Oh, that's a gooder. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh okay, yeah, we'll cut it open on the saw later. <laughs> Whatever you do, you don't want to flip it like that. It'll never break properly like that. All right, we're bringing it. Yeah, it's better to just keep going for the nodules. Yeah. When you see them, you see them, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the rock will want to break around it, right? So we'll show you how these layers peel up here, Riffle. Chisel away at it. You can put the hammer in anywhere. You don't need to find a crack, and it'll just find its own way to peel up. Uh, like I said, a sledge is better for this. This is more like a finishing hammer, but um, you can bring that when you come out. And so when these sheets split in these uh, in these layers, you flip them on their side and you split them even further. And sometimes inside, you'll get fossil impressions. That's how we usually find things like leaf impressions or um, seaweed kind of stuff. Um, but a lot of them aren't that interesting. So I find the easiest way, rather than working through the hardest stone here, is to find the rotting stone layers and just work through that. It moves a lot better. Yeah, you'll dig and dig and dig. Sometimes there's stuff, sometimes there isn't. That's why, like I said, be strategic where you pick where you want to dig so you don't expel all your energy. Like the last nodule was somewhere around this layer. So I would go in at that same layer there and chisel at it because we all know that section is promised a nodule. Yeah. Or like I said, the rotting layers here and I would pick away at that easy earth. Oh yeah. Right, let, uh, let weathering do a bunch of the work for you. Even some of these big bricks you can cleave right out of there if you hit them from the right direction. Yeah, and that whole side wall there should just fall apart and you can check through more rock at once. So anyway, that's the deal. Move a bunch of rock, look for the nodules, split them open. They should split. That one we had was an anomaly, but most of them will split. Okay, so rather than bake, breaking rock random, because, and, it's, and finding nothing, the creek is so long that if you just walk along this stretch and look for the nodules, it's probably easier. So right there, see there's one sticking out we can work at, and right here's another. You'll know that once you find one, but they'll, they'll have that roundness to them. So, Rick, hammer boy, come on, here. Oh, cool. <laughs> there's one and there's the other. Nice. Yeah. Okay, put it on end, split it open. Like I said, sometimes there's nothing in them, sometimes there's seashell fragments.
Man. Huh. We might have to put it on a harder rock. The limestone, because it's soft, it might, be yeah, yeah. might be absorbing it. So if we go put it on one of those river boulders, it'll break better. Split this one out before you go. Yeah. And then you can try breaking both. Yeah, maybe it's absorbing the impact. Yeah. I don't know why the calcified balls form, but they form a lot with fossils. I think it has to do with something with the organic matter. Huh. Come at it from here, this plate. There you go. There we go. All right. Man, that's a weird one. Yeah, I don't know what's in there. Yeah. Okay, this is the second site. So, over that group of boulders there, you come in the trees. When you're walking the trail, you get to a certain point where the trail gets thin and it just heads uphill. Immediately before it actually takes an incline, you're gonna see an easy point to come access the river again. And walk up on the side here. It's all flat here. Come around and you'll see how much gravel there is. There's a lot of dallasite all throughout this. Additionally, in the side walls over here, that's where you're gonna find more fossil concretions as well as clamshell fossils directly in the rock. Okay, Matt, let's see if you're stronger than the Rick and I. <laughs> Don't make me feel like a pansy. If you don't get it after a few tries, I'm gonna feel a bit better about Stand myself. Up. Oh, we got it! <laughs> what is it? Ooh, that's a nice dud right that's there. That's a nice one, solid yeah, rock. Yeah, real good dud. Keeper. One sec, there might be something under there. I'll saw through it too, just to check, but I think it's just a standard concretion of nothing. Here, get that one too. There's a little guy. That's the thing, you break them up in, oh, wrong direction. Yeah, they'll always break that direction, but that's how you break your fossil in half. But also, woo, another dud. All right. They are there though. You just gotta keep breaking them open. Well, we sliced it open, there's nothing in there. So. Some concretions are dead, sometimes there's stuff in them. Sometimes the little ones are just fossil fragments, which aren't gonna be interesting. But uh, you just gotta get out there and I guess bring the three pound sledge and that'll, that'll bust them open. Or just go for the imprints.